Not to brag, but I think I got some nice titties. What I will tell you in this video is what made me go from this to this. And I will tell you all the stuff that I wish that I knew when I first started working out my chest. And I will also give you a free chest workout plan in the end of the video. Chest is one of the best muscles to develop if you want to look aesthetic and overall big. And since you clicked on this video, you probably knew that. And it's also considered one of the hottest muscles a man can have. So there's no doubt you want to grow them. But just as any muscle, we first need to know what this muscle looks like and what it's supposed to do in order to train it properly. Chest is a so-called push muscle. It's supposed to push things away from your body. So we need to do exercises like push-ups, bench press, and so on. Your chest is also divided into three parts, upper, middle, and lower. And therefore you need different type of exercises to target these three. So let's start off with lower chest. Lower chest is basically exercises that pushes your body upwards. Probably the best exercises you can do is dips. I love dips just because it's such a simple exercise and still one of the greatest to build an aesthetic look. You don't even need a dip bar. You can use, use two chairs or two tables or as I did, a bike. There's basically no excuse not to do them. When performing dips, the more upright your body is, the more you will gain the tricep. And leaning a bit forward gets more of your chest and shoulders involved. Quick tip I've been using for a better chest engagement is to keep my waist slightly elevated while I lean forward. If you can do 12 plus reps, I suggest you to get a bag and just fill it with heavy stuff. Water bottles, books, weights if you have it, to keep on progressing. Another exercise that also targets your low chest is the incline push-up. I'm really not a fan of this exercise since it's too far easy for me. Although I can use a bag, I don't like to do them. It just feels awkward, but you might like it. It's worth a try. This is also a great beginner exercise if you can't do a normal push-up yet. Over to middle chest. When doing middle chest exercises, you almost always target your upper chest and your lower chest, depending on what exercise you do. The most common middle chest exercise is the normal push-up. And oh wow, I love push-ups. I could argue that 90% of my chest gains came from just push-ups. You have the archer push-up, one-arm push-up, diamond push-up, and so much more. But in my opinion, I would say that the diamond push-up and the regular push-up is the best to target your chest. At least these two exercises is the one that have worked out the best for me. When performing some sort of push exercises, don't cheat on your full range of motion. Well, always do full range of motion. I see so many people doing half reps and are so proud that I can do like 50 push-ups in a row when they look like this. Don't be like that. Instead, do a full and proper push-up, which first of all will make you look way cooler and second of all give you more chest gains. Also, if you struggle to feel your chest when you're doing a push-up and maybe get tired in your arms before your chest, try to have your hands a bit further apart and also have your elbow in a 45 degree angle instead of a 90 degree angle and then lean forward a bit and I promise that you will feel your chest. Just as the dips, you can use a bag to progressively overload these type of exercises. And also, another quick tip, if you have some sort of wrist pain like I have. I mean sometimes my wrist hurts so much that I even can't put my hand to the floor. Get some sort of parallels. These have helped me so so much when I had wrist pains and it also gives you an extra stretch on your chest which then will result in a greater muscle growth. You can also like stack books on top of each other to get that stretch. And lastly we have the upper chest which I would say is the most crucial part since it's such a lacking muscle part for so many people, me included. To train your upper chest you will basically do push exercises that end your hands over your head. It's exercises like decline push-up, hindu push-up, handstand push-up, you get it. If I would guess you're not strong enough to do handstand push-up, but if you can I'm sorry, but if you can't, decline push-ups are amazing and I mean amazing. Just find a elevated surface where you can put your legs and then just perform a normal push-up. If it gets too easy, add more elevation and keep on doing that and you will be able to do a handstand push-up in no time. And of course, just as the previous exercises, you can just add your bag to make it harder. If you find elevated push-ups too hard, you can do the hinder push-up. These are amazing to build up the strength, but they look very awkward, I would say. But trust me, they are amazing. And I think you really should try them out. Here is a free chest workout plan that I suggest you to do max three times a week to give your muscles enough time to recover. You don't have to strictly exactly follow this plan, but you can use it as inspiration and maybe add something to your own workout. If you're interested in learning more, I have a bunch of other videos like how I bulk without counting calories, how I gain muscles with without weights and it would make me really happy if you want to support me on my youtube journey that's all from me bye bye